meteorologist Lexi Birmingham with your first alert storm team forecast. Well, good morning everyone and happy Sunday It was such a beautiful day yesterday. Once the clouds got out of the way, we saw lots of sunshine and those temperatures felt quite nice and feeling less humidity certainly was the cherry on top. Unfortunately, we have a little bit of a different forecast for today. Now temperatures will still be near normal for this time of the year, but we'll throw in the chance that a couple of us could see a few isolated showers and then we're tracking our next storm system to roll in for Monday and Tuesday and that's going to bring an increased chance for showers and thunderstorms. Let's start off with a live look at orange Beach. This is from our sweat tires camera looking very cloudy as we look back off towards the east there. We do have some showers developing along the coast in Baldwin County, but also offshore of northwest Florida, and that's precisely what you were seeing there. Meanwhile, over in Destin, the water looks nice and calm. This is from our FP property restoration camera on top of the Henderson Beach Resort. Temperatures right now in Destin at 69 degrees with an east northeast wind at nine miles per hour. Temperatures right now across the News 5 neighborhood waking up fairly uniform in the lower to middle 60s. 63 in Leakesville, 62 in Loosedale, 66 right here in Mobile. Right now, the warmest temperature is on Dauphin Island at 75 degrees. Now, as we head into your Mother's Day, we'll see again some seasonable temperatures this afternoon. Highs topping into the lower 80s, but skies for the most part will be mostly cloudy, and there could be the chance that a few of us do see some isolated showers. It's not going to be a complete washout, and not everyone is going to see it. Now, we have been dealing with a couple of showers very early on this morning. Again, you can see those showers right along the coast of North West Florida, some developing over Mobile and Baldwin counties and off towards our Mississippi counties. We went ahead and dropped the rain chance to about 20%. In our previous hour, we had 30%, but I'm seeing a little bit more of a downward trend as far as the forecast models are concerned. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of these forecast models. Again, we'll keep that chance for some isolated and spotty showers throughout the rest of the morning into the afternoon. We could see a few more as we head into the late afternoon and early evening. Most of that, though, staying north of I-10 and maybe even along the Highway 84 corridor. Now, the timing for showers and thunderstorms as we head into your Monday is going to be a little bit uh, hard to track here because this forecast model brings everything for your Monday afternoon and evening, whereas a few other forecast models kind of bring it in late tonight and into your early Monday morning. So that's something we'll continue to watch. Either way, rain chances will be going up for your Monday and Tuesday. We'll catch our breath a little bit for your Wednesday before they pick back up for your Thursday and Friday. And a couple of these thunderstorms could be on the strong or severe so side. For tomorrow, we have a level one out of five risk for the entire News 5 neighborhood, and that's going to be the case as well for your Tuesday, where I think winds and hail are going to be the primary concerns. The tornado threat is low, but it is not zero. Again, this is a very isolated threat for some severe weather. As far as those temperatures are concerned, waking up in the mornings, we're actually going to be pretty uniform. Most of our temperatures will start off in the upper 60s to lower 70s, but our forecast highs will be a bit of a roller coaster ride. We could see highs anywhere from the upper 70s all the way into the upper 80s over the next seven days. All right.